If it's good, the Eagles win. Here we go. The ball is spotted. It's kicked. It is good! And the Eagles win! Welcome to Old School All-22, brought to you by Golden Nugget Jewelers, Merrill Reese and Mike Quick. You know, when you talk about the Eagles and the Cowboys back in 2000, everybody will tell you about the opener of the famous pickle juice game <laughs> where Deuce Staley went wild. But Mike, the next time they met at a veteran stadium, yep. it was a much different story. Eagles still won, but it was a much different type of game. It, it was a defensive battle. The game ended 16-13 and went into overtime, but the Eagles defensively, they were stellar in that game. And again, Jim Johnson dialing it up using some of his best talent. This time, Jeremiah Trotter, big on the play, comes in and gets a tackle for a loss that really sets this game into overtime. The game was tied at 10 at the two-minute warning, and the Cowboys had the ball on the Eagles' four-yard line facing a critical third and two. Both teams were in their goal line packages, with a lot of big bodies on the field to prepare for a physical run play. Before the snap, the Eagles placed two defensive tackles in both A-gaps on either side of the center. Paul Grassmanis lined up at left defensive tackle, with Hollis Thomas on the right. Their job on this play is to expand at the snap and create a lane on the inside wide enough for a body to run through. Why do this on the goal line? To make room for the axe man. Jeremiah Trotter blitzes right up the gut on this play, leaping over the traffic and getting to Emmett Smith in the backfield just as he receives the handoff from Randall Cunningham. This five-yard loss forces a field goal for the Cowboys, who are hoping to come away with a touchdown. The Eagles offense would get the ball back and would go on a 12-play drive, setting up David Aker's game-tying field goal from 34 yards out to send the game into overtime. In the extra session, the Cowboys had the ball just shy of midfield, and on second and three, instead of calling Emmett Smith's number, they decide to instead hand the ball off to fullback Robert Thomas. Thomas, who already had his eyes on linebacker Carlos Emmons as he was receiving the handoff, fumbles the football. Tim Houck recovers it, and David Akers would kick a 32-yard field goal to win the game. Through most of the 90s, the Cowboys laid it to the Eagles, beat them time after time after time. But I believe in 2000, the Eagles changed that around for years to come. Well, they changed it around. Uh, I'll go back to Andy Reid and then Jim Johnson. When those guys came in and they started to put together their staff, their personnel, that whole tide started to switch in the Eagles' favor. Jim Johnson was so good at limiting teams, especially like the Cowboys, eliminating what they do well, and Andy Reid attacking those defenses. And that's it for Old School All-22, brought to you by Golden Nuggets Jewelers.